Ford really upped the game for family sedans when it unleashed its redesigned Fusion to showrooms in 2013. Stylish, sporty, and packed with features, the new Fusion was an immediate hit with car shoppers. Two years later, Ford has revised the Fusion with only minor fiddling of equipment, and that's okay, as the Fusion remains one of our top choices in the highly competitive midsize sedan segment. So, let's go ahead and check out this 2015 Ford Fusion SE. Now, as far as styling goes on the Fusion, I quite like the styling a lot. I think it looks very mean and aggressive, and I love the bold front end with the hexagonal grille that reminds me of Aston Martin. I think it just gives it a much more premium look, and it's definitely one of the best looking mid-size sedans in the segment. And then coming to the wheels, I think they really do finish off the overall look of the Fusion. You have 18 inch gloss black cast aluminum wheels that look very premium, I have to say. And then it is also a pretty big car, measuring at 191.8 inches in length, and then its height at 58.2 inches, and then its width at 72.9 inches. Now here's the key fob design for the vehicle, and it is a switchblade key, but it's a pretty normal looking key. You have your Ford badging logo right here, and then you do have your lock, unlock, to release your trunk, and then your panic button too, of course. But like I said, it is switchblade. Now it is a white platinum metallic tricoat exterior with a beige leather interior or as Ford likes to call it, dune leather trim seats. <laughs> then you do have your power driver's seat adjustments, of course, power recline, and your power lumbar too. But I do love the seat designs in the Fusion. Now stepping on into the interior, I do like the two-tone going on here with the black and then the beige leather. And then I think it does give it a very nice contrast because if it's all black inside of this car, it can look very Spartan in my opinion. So, but this two-tone color definitely gives it a nice, more premium feel inside. But as far as the design of it goes, the design is very premium and very tech savvy in here. And it doesn't look as utilitarian as say a Honda Accord. But like I said, push button ignition is available. And I just love that chime of the Fusion. It's a nice, very nice calming chime that is really to me only found on Fords and Lincolns. And what you're hearing of course is that 2 liter EcoBoost motor. Very silent motor. Now coming to your transmission, you have a 6 speed automatic transmission with a sport mode with paddle shifters. You also do have an electronic parking brake. And new for 2015 is a standard backup camera, finally. Cars like the Honda Accord and the Toyota Camry were offering that before the Fusion did. And you do have trajectory. And let's go ahead and turn on the lights. And the hazards as well. Driver and passenger window are fully automatic in the Fusion. And let's go ahead and pop the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators integrated onto the mirrors. And blind spot monitoring is also optional. You have halogen projector beam headlights with your halogen fog lights. HIDs are also an option on the titanium model. Under the hood you will find a 2 liter 4 cylinder turbo EcoBoost motor producing 231 horses 
with 270 pound-feet of torque, with EPA estimates being 22 in the city and 33 on the highway. If I was to get the Fusion, I would definitely go for this powertrain. Now, the base engine on the Fusion is going to be a 2.5 liter four-cylinder. I recommend avoiding that powertrain and sticking to this one. This powertrain is also pretty smooth too, providing decent acceleration at the times you need it. And paired with the six-speed automatic, it makes for a responsive pair. Now essentially there's a hybrid available and a plug-in hybrid as well. Now trims on the Fusion start at the base model which is the S trim which starts at $22,400 and then you have the SE which starts at $23,935 and can be loaded up with optional packages. And then you have the titanium model which starts at $30,600. Now competitors of the Fusion as you all may know are the Toyota Camry, the Honda Accord, Chevrolet Malibu, Volkswagen Passat, Nissan Altima, Subaru Legacy, Mazda 6, many competitors in this segment. Coming to the rear you have dual exhaust tips, LED tail lamps with LED turn signals and a rear window defroster, LED third brake light on the top as well. One styling cue that I'm not a big fan of at all is the way that antenna is styled. I always hated that. I would really like a traditional shark fin. I just hate that style of an antenna. To me it just reminds me um, of a cheap economy car from the 2000s. Now total vehicle price for this particular Fusion is $31,590 and like I said EPA estimates are 22 in the city and 33 on the highway. This is pretty much a fully loaded SE. But for $31,000 I would expect push button ignition. But coming to your armrest, very nice and soft to the touch. Nice and stitched as well. Your power windows, power mirrors, power door locks are located up here, and memory seat settings for three people. And it's also soft to the touch on the mid door panel and on the upper door panel as well. And let's go ahead and rev up the Fusion and see how that four cylinder turbo sounds. Now as far as build quality and materials go, this is where they really shine in this segment. The materials are excellent in this vehicle. Like I said, the mid door panel is nice soft touch, nice soft touch armrest too of course, and the upper door panel and on the dashboard as well. Everything is pretty much the highest of quality. There are only a few hard touch plastics where you might touch on a day to day basis. Now coming right here you have your cup holders of course and then down there is a pretty neat little storage cubby right there. You have a power outlet down there. Then coming to your center console you have two USB ports, an SD card slot as well as another 12 volt power outlet and a nice soft touch armrest with nice stitching too of course. Auto dimming rear view mirror. sunroof and your sunroof controls. 
material elimination, sunglass container, and your garage home link. Headliner is also very plush as well. Now I really do like the nice aluminum trim going throughout the whole entire cabin on top of the two-toned uh, color scheme. However, um, I'm not sure what this kind of material is. I think they're trying to imitate wood grain here, kind of a darkish colored wood grain, but um, it even gives it more contrast inside of the Fusion's cabin. But as you can see, it's right here, and it goes across right there as well. But it looks pretty nice in my opinion. I think they did pretty well with the contrast. Um, as far as the steering wheel design goes, I'm not really a big fan of this steering wheel design. I think they could have added maybe some of the wood grain onto here. I think it just looks a little bit spartan. It's lacking finesse, I have to say. But you do have your cruise control and then your voice recognition, Bluetooth, and steering wheel mounted audio controls over here. And then these set of controls right here control that screen right there. And then these set of controls right here control that screen right there. So it's pretty simple and easy to understand. Now as far as driving impressions go of the Fusion, it's one of the better handling vehicles in the class. It's better than the Honda Sen Hyundai Sonata as well as the Toyota Camry. And the steering is pretty spot on and pretty precise as well. Now as far as the ride goes, the ride is also very compliant and very absorbent too. But like I said, the Fusion is definitely one of the better handling vehicles in the class. It's not as numb as the Toyota Camry. Now as far as seating comfort goes, I love the seats in the Fusion. They're very supportive, have the nice right amount of cushion without feeling like a couch. And then they just have a nice amount, the perfect amount of side bolstering. And then like I said, I love the design of the seats. Now as far as visibility goes out of the Fusion, it's pretty average for the class. It's not as good as the Toyota Camry or the Honda Accord, but it just does do the job okay. It's not as um, bad as say a Chrysler 200. However, the seat pillar back there is kind of thick, as you can see. But they do give you a, leer, a little rear quarter window back there, which helps out a lot in your blind spots. Now coming to your two little screens, and then the instrument cluster right here. Um, I particularly like the gauges. I like the white illumination around, around them, and then the baby blue needle. I really love that a lot. Now coming to this little screen over here. It's basically going to show you all of your My Ford Touch information onto this little screen. Like your entertainment, like what radio station you're on. And then you have an integrated compass too as well. And then if you have a phone connected. And then your climate and then you can change the temperatures from here, which is pretty neat. And then coming to this little screen over here. This is going to show you all your driver assistance, like your traction control and your rear parking aid, and then your trip odometer, fuel economy data as well, and then you, and then you can change the settings for the vehicle and the Ford My Key. And then you have a different display mode which shows you your tachometer. And then your distance to empty. So much information about the vehicle and you could change the settings for the vehicle on here as well. So basically this system, this screen over here is all for your vehicle information and then, and then this screen over here is for all of your My 4 Touch system in a smaller, simpler fashion. Now let's get to one of my only few gripes I have about the Fusion, and it's the use of touch sensitive buttons. And if a manufacturer is going to do touch sensitive buttons, don't just halfway do it, do the job right. But you do have dual zone automatic climate control, and here's your fan speeds right here. But at some times it is very finicky to use on a day to day basis. But you do have automatic climate control as well, and you do have your heated seats over here, and your recycling mode. Now coming to the My4Touch system. 
basically it's separated for sync on your device. into four main cor corners. You have your phone, your radio over here, and your nav, and then your climate control. But you can also do your climate control from the My Ford Touch uh, system, like your heated seats, and then what temperature you want it to be, and then your fan speeds too, of course, and your different zones. But coming to your media sources, you have a USB port, a CD player, here's your optical disk drive right here, series satellite radio, AM, FM, all the basic stuff here. Bluetooth streaming audio too, of course, and an SD card slot. And an AV input as well. And then right here is the button for the home screen, and it shows you a smaller version of the four main systems like your phone and then your entertainment and then your climate and then your nav they're separated and separated into four main uh, little boxes when you click on the home button and then coming to your different settings you can change the time to display like the brightness the auto dimming then your vehicle settings like the keypad code and then your vehicle health report and then your camera settings. Now the responsiveness of the My4 Touch uh, system has definitely gotten, gotten a lot better over the past year or two. It's definitely a lot better than when I first tested out the My4 Touch set, uh, system. Now let's go ahead and test out the voice recognition. Please say a command. Change driver temperature to 65 degrees. Did you say 65 degrees? Yes. Setting temperature to 65 degrees. Now, Ford claims that this voice recognition system can read here over a thousand words, which is pretty impressive, but it can be a little awkward to use at times with other passengers in the vehicle. Alrighty, and let's go ahead and shut down the Fusion. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle, including the rear seat passenger space as well as the trunk capacity. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk. Now the rear seats do fold 60-40 split. Now trunk capacity is mediocre for the class. I'm not very impressed by the trunk capacity kind of has a smallish trunk. Material and build quality do follow through in the rear. Thank God they didn't cheapen out. Still have a nice soft touch armrest with nice stitching. Nice and soft to the touch on the mid door panel and the upper door panel as well. Now coming back here, this is probably where the Fusion lacks behind in the competition is probably rear seat passenger space. It's okay, but it's not the best. It's definitely not as good as a VW Passat, a Honda Accord, or a Toyota Camry. We do have rear air vents back here, a power outlet, dual map pockets, and a rear armrest with cup holders. And to fold the seats down, all you do need to do is just pull this lever up and then they come right down. Alrighty. Powered passenger seat with power recline. Your glove box compartment, nice and damp, and you do have two shelves, which is pretty impressive. Alrighty. So, with solid power, excellent fuel economy, distinctive styling, and a huge array of tech features, the 2015 Ford Fusion is a great choice for a midsize sedan. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.